want to understand how my relationship with psychoanalysis helped me survive the camps. As the chairman told you, we are here tonight to discuss the meaning and importance of psychoanalysis 85 years since Freud published the interpretation of dreams, which as you know was in 1900. Now there is much nonsense spoken these days about psychoanalysis and I will do my best to set things straight. I could do so by lecturing to you about this theory and that theory and you may have a pleasant evening but you will learn very little and you will remember nothing. The most important thing we need to learn is to talk to each other. So please, try again, in short words that even a child can understand. What would you like to know? Oh, pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth that I am meek and gentle with these butchers. Thou art the ruins of the noblest man that ever lived in the tide of times. Ah, I know this. Ah, I'm sorry. Could we please start again from the top? I think it's time to stop this. Um, <clears throat> the point is, uh, things are worse than ever. I, I came to see you because I was tired of always losing relationships with women. And it's been months and months and I still have no relationships. And now I'm in real danger of losing my job because I can't remember the lines from this speech. I just need to be able to perform at rehearsal. And if you can't help me do that, I'm not sure what use you are. Speaking of repressions, this brings to mind a patient I'm currently seeing who is an actor. We've been meeting for a year. Now, on stage, he's begun forgetting his lines. Think of what it is like to be driven to appear before an audience, pretending to be someone else. The better you don the mask, the more the audience loves you. Touch me with a noble anger! Let not women's weapons Water drops stain my man's cheeks. No, you unnatural hands. Questions haunt the actor. Whom does the audience really love? <coughs> Certainly not his real self. Oh, pardon me, thou bleeding piece of shit, that I am meek and gentle with thee. <laughs> what was that? That's not the text. <laughs> it is the text. It is the line. It is a bleeding piece of shit. Already, one minute silence. I wonder whether I should say anything. Oh, I had a dream. A nightmare, really. But that makes you happy, finally, a dream. <laughs> 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 Psychoanalysis was born in the midst of great change in turn of century Vienna. Have I been here before? I can't seem to remember. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to say? Line! Line! Somebody please tell me what I'm supposed to say! We passionately believed that person by person the world could be made better and that in the midst of great change, psychoanalysis would help people choose freedom over fascism. You've been so good to me that I promised to give you a dream today. <laughs> what will come of his need for revenge? Mm, check these women out, Marvin. You know, they are only good for one thing. Trouble is, it's always easy at first, but then they always want more, endlessly more. <laughs> it's been 12 hours already. Barely any food. I know this drill. 
retaliation for the escape. The roll call will go on till the prisoners are recovered. This thing is useless. I can't believe I've swallowed it all. This is not a relationship, as you call it. This is its like coming for a service, like going to a gas station. <laughs> Very well, then. If the only question we ask is what works, then, of course, our task is made simpler. The concentration camps worked perfectly. You know, Marvin, you're all alone in this life, man. People will pretend to understand, but they don't understand. You've got to be tough. And I, what kind of audience must I be? How must I love him for him to risk removing the mask? Time's up, I'm staying the night. <laughs> <laughs>